Hi, my name is Elena Cezanova. My name is Kayla Grooms. My name is Fabian. We are presenting the Caesar Entertainment Business Project. So, this is our executive summary. Caesar's Entertainment is a company that all operates in the United Kingdom. It's offering gaming, gaming venues, restaurants, bars, and entertainment. They also provide space for the events like parties, corporate functions, poker tournaments, and dinner parties. Caesar's Entertainment. One is the leading American um, public gaming corporations that operates in more than uh, uh, that operates uh, more than 50 casinos, hotels, and about seven golf courses all over the world. This is its entertainment, also located in Nevada, Paradise, and as it is the largest um, largest gaming company in the world. All right, so this is our presentation overview. We're going to start with the company's direction, then our environmental analysis, our competitive analysis strategy development as well as strategy implementation and then we'll end with the conclusion. And I would like to start with our mission. Our mission is um, that our company is indebted to our employees. We owe all our success to them and without them we would be um, we would not be the largest company and most successful company in the world. Our vision is give life, our, give life to our customers' experience and memories, perks to our employees, and as our most valuable resource, we satisfy every guest, every, every employee, and every time. Our growth. Our, our value is our growth, well, our loyalty, wealth, and reputation. So the growth is promoting growth within the company and throughout the community. The loyalty remaining loyal to our employees. And the wealth company is a health company. Reputation is embracing our traditions by continuing our unique reputation. So sustainability, we are going to talk about people, planet, and profit. Caesar's entertainment should also work for the promotion and maintain um, at the environmentally friendly organization that would also encourage the upcoming generations to practice to the sustainable lifestyle. I would like to talk about people first. The company becomes the leader in education and execute the environment, environmentally friendly practices for the overall industry. The, they reward employees that implement this practice. <clears throat> Second is the planet. E, Caesar's Entertainment is mainly dedicated to protect um, of the planet's future and aims ma making the offer efforts uh, for the preserving the overall ecosystem using energy efficient uh, LED lighting and its aims of and its aims at the presentation at preservation of water and land and then lastly the profit Caesar Entertainment takes responsibility to reduce the footprint on the environment which will lead to the lower lower um, expenses. Caesar's Entertainment works for the maximization of the profit for the stakeholders as well. One more slide. So I would like to talk about analysis of uh, stakeholders. Stakeholders of Caesar's Entertainment play the major role uh, in the in the contribution of the success of this company. The four most of important um, stakeholders are employees. That is, Caesar's Entertainment really is famous for taking care of the employees. Guests, they have amazingly loyal problem for the guests and um, they create great value for them. Board of directors, which make the most important decisions for the company. And of course, investors that are very they have a variety of investors and they invest um, the investing the the investment business by expecting the acquire increase in revenue. So there are the four um, four stakeholders I would like to mention is government and communities, creditors, suppliers and partners, and also other industries. So stakeholders would never, um, Caesars Entertainment would never be the same without stakeholders. That's why they have a great relationship among them. And they try to stay and build this relationship as much as they can.
Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the Pistel analysis um, that we have stated right here. The Pistel analysis contains detailed information on operational problems that citizen entertainment will potentially have to face. There are many factors, pretty much such as political, economical, social, technological, and environmental. Starting with political factors, they play an important role in determining the factors influencing the long-term viability of Caesars. These factors will include political stability and importance of the resorts and casinos in the economy of this country. The second thing I want to talk about is the economic factors. The economic, there are various economic factors, including the savings, interest rates, exchange rates, economic cycle, and the total investment in the company. Caesars Entertainment can use national economic factors such as growth, inflation, casinos, and customer spending to provide growth of the sector by the organization. The uh, third thing that I would like to talk about would be the social cultural social culture influences of the organization. This plays an important role in understanding Caesars Entertainment customers in markets and how to develop marketing messages to the industry and casino locations as well. Um, the technology quickly destroys various industries and various sectors as we've seen in many companies. For example, within the transportation industry, taxis are dominated now by companies like Uber. So recent technological advances by the Caesars Entertainment Corporation competitors and its impact on cost structure in resorts are a large part of that as well. Um, the fourth thing that I would like to discuss would be the uh, environmental specifications. They can influence the profitability of an organization and the env environmental factors that have an impact on Caesars Entertainment include climate change, weather, laws, and regulations related to the environment. So I'm also here to talk to you about the Porter's uh, Five uh, Force Model. Porter's Forces are the strategic management tool for the analysis of the industry and the determination of the profitability levels in the casino industry. Managers of Caesars Entertainment can use this analysis for effective future strategies. The uh, first part of the Porter's Five Force Five models is the threat of new entrants. So this is always a factor within companies, of course, and Caesars Entertainment is no different. They can face pressure by low pricing strategy and reduce cost by the provision of the new value to its customers. Um, the bargaining power of suppliers is also an important factor. Companies in the casino and resort industry buy their raw materials from various dominant suppliers and this can reduce their margins as well. Um, the bargaining power of buyers is also very demanding. They want to buy the best offerings by paying the least amount of money possible and this can create pressure within Caesars Entertainment um, in the long run. The threats of substitute can also be very high, especially if other firms are offering a similar value proposition, such as uh, things that go within the casino. Caesars Entertainment will become service-oriented rather than just product-oriented to reduce the threat of these substitute products. Um, the last thing that I would like to talk about is the rivalry among the existing players. There is a lot of rivalry between the players in the similar industry and it can be intense and will decrease prices along with the reduction of the overall profitability of the industry. The rivalry can be reduced by the development of the substantial differentiation. So uh, the online booking and social media marketing, I believe is extremely important. It's current happening and it's gonna play more and more important role in the future. So we're gonna invest more in this area. And I want to talk about uh, the 3D slot machine and the VR casino. I believe, we believe they're gonna totally change our casino business. Uh, so here on this side, we have our resource comparison. We have started out with MGM Resorts, Dover Downs, SBE, and El Dorado Resorts. As you can see, these are the resources we've come up with that. Physical resources, net income, human-based resources, as well as knowledge-based and general organizational resources. This is a table that we've come up with, and these are the numbers that we've come up and researched uh, for this resource comparison. Here's the location of our major competitor. As you can see, MGM Resort, they are the one of the uh, largest and our major competitor. It has resort at Las Vegas, Robinsonville, Detroit, Oxon Hill, Atlantic City. And Dover Down, they uh, measure in Do Dover. And SB, they measure in Los Angeles. And Aldo Rado's resort, they measure in Reno. 
So here is some analyze of our major competitors. So here we got CF, location, service, tech organization, brand portfolio, target market, and real and market and from brand strengths. So um, here is some financial analyze for our major competitors. So now um, I can talk about some uh, results our, of our uh, Caesars Pet Entertainment. So first one is Bally's Las Vegas. It's very famous in Las Vegas and famous as is the copy of the Eiffel, Eiffel Tower. The second one is Caesars Atlantic City. It's the second casino and one of the largest casino in Atlantic City. And Caesars Palace is be found very early and is the first destina destination resort in Las Vegas. The last one is Harris Akachin Casino. It's in Arizona, Indiana's uh, community and run by Caesars Palace, Caesars Entertainment. So next, uh, I, we, we're going to use the SWOT analyze to analyze some strengths and weaknesses of our company. So first is strengths. We have very uh, well-developed and success training and education program. So also, uh, we have a strong, well-known brand and consulting experience of entering new market. But uh, we still have some weakness. The first is uh, the, uh, we need some we need some investment. Uh, we face some shortage of uh, cash, and some of, of our service. Uh, there is some problem of our service, and we have a uh, lower R and D in investment than our uh, competitors. So, but we still got some opportunities, like green government rotation fits our brand and our product, and we have very low information and we have stable cash flow. So our threat, uh, our threat can be like restriction on the non-complete product and uh, uh, we need to increase our profitability compared to our major competitors. So uh, after we use the BCG metrics to analyze our company, we found out some facts. The first is the uh, question mark. We found out the Grand Casino Golf Board has very low market share. So they need to invest more in their marketing to increase their market share. And our cash cow is Atlantic City Country Club. So this club uh, is very famous in Atlantic City area and uh, they have focus on uh, marketing and they have gained uh, a lot of uh, honor and reputation. All right, so next I can talk some uh, function strategy out there. In, first is in business level. So uh, of course, social media is extremely important. It has very great impact in nowadays. So definitely we're gonna invest more in social media and, uh, marketing part. So next is uh, we need to build more casinos because uh, even we have a lot of property in Las Vegas and uh, Macau and uh, some of those famous gamble city, but there's some other place uh, are growing and need to uh, worse for us to invest. And the training session. So already, although we already have a very well-known and well-developed training session, we still need to uh, invest more in our training session to catch up our major competitors. And last one, I'd like to urge you to uh, divide the, our the digital checking because it's not just like a, not just a fancy idea. It's actually increase our guest experience. Then I can talk about some corporate level uh, project. So first is loyalty program. We have loyalty program, but it's not enough. Loyalty program is uh, one is a very important step to attract customer to our brand and keep their passion. So we need to refine it and put something new in there. And next, we uh, our customer are looking for. Uh, something new, not just Caesar Palace, not just Palace, they're looking for something new product. So uh, some new and different product that comp 
give our uh, guests completely different feeling, maybe a uh, very efficient method. Next one, um, I want to talk about our implementation plan. So first one is implementation uh, the social media. So we're going to start from July and the end in on December. The second one is acquisition of the new property. It starts from July and end in October. The third one, we need to work on our new training start from July and launch it uh, of, uh, on September. The last one is uh, the fourth one is launch the digital checking and training ourselves to use it to familiarize with it from July to September and develop our new loyalty program from July to September. And last one gonna be uh, we need to put our effort and research the new product to attract more guests. Uh, this program is gonna start from July and uh, we hope we can launch some new product on August. So overall, uh, Caesars Entertainment has developed a very successful uh, brand and market position compared to our major competitors. The research, our research has shown that there are some uh, different areas of opportunity we can have to uh, increase our profit, profitability and revenue and reputation. So the technology implementation of Caesars Entertainment, like via casino and the digital checking, uh, can provide us opportunity for additional revenue stream by increased uh, guest experience. So that was our business plan for Caesars Palace, and we'd like to thank you for listening. My name is Kayla Grooms. Elena Sazanova. Harvey. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. All right, we're